Hey, Tim DeStazio here. It is another Psychrometric Saturday, and we've been talking about sensible heat ratio and sensible heat factor. We're going to push sensible heat factor off to the side for just a little bit. Of course, that's when we divide our sensible capacity by our total heat capacity that our unit can do. Sensible heat ratio doesn't have to do anything to do with our capacity, rather has to do with our load. So we're going to divide our sensible load by our total load. We know that the sensible load is how much BTUs per hour it's going to take to maintain the temperature in the space and then we're going to divide that by our total load so let's take a sample problem we've got a load calculation our total heat load was 25,000 BTUs out of that 25,000 20,000 was sensible so we divide 20,000 divided by 25,000 and we get a sensible heat ratio of 0 0.80 that means that 80% of our load is sensible that means that the other 20% has to be latent. But we're going to push latent off to the side as well. And we're just going to concentrate on that sensible heat ratio. 0 0.80 is a pretty normal sensible heat ratio. You may see sensible heat ratios anywhere from around 0.65 all the way up to around 0 0.90 or more. The lower the sensible heat ratio is, or the lower this number is, the more moisture you're going to have to deal with out of your load. And it will never be over 1.0. But the closer this is to 1.0, the more sensible heat you have to worry about, not as much moisture load. Now, if you recall from our last episode, we actually didn't use the psychrometric chart at all. And there's a reason because we needed to talk about sensible heat ratio when it comes to the load. Now, this week, we're going to introduce another feature of a psychrometric chart, probably one that you have never seen before because it's not on all psychrometric charts. And that is the sensible heat ratio scale that usually appears to the right of the psychrometric charts. Not not all psychrometric charts have this, but this sensible heat ratio is very important when we are sizing equipment and we're trying to figure out how many CFMs need to go in each room. I'm going to show you how to use it. And this is a really cool feature. So as you can see, our sensible heat ratio goes all the way from 1.0 and it goes all the way up to 0.35. We had a 0 0.80 sensible heat ratio. Here's how we're going to use it. We're going to take this 0 0.80 and we're going to put a dot right there at 0 0.80 sensible heat ratio. The next thing that we're going to do is connect a line that connects not only this dot, but then this dot right here. This dot is our reference dot, and it is typically the design conditions of the inside. So here at 75 degree dry bulb and 55 degree dew point. That's really what we typically design the indoor conditions to be. This is our reference dot. So what we're gonna do is take a line and we are gonna connect the reference dot with our sensible heat ratio dot where it lines up with 0.80. The next thing that we're going to do is take another line and we're going to run it through our reference dot and we're just simply going to line it up with our target indoor temperature 75 degree dry bulb we're just going to run a line that connects not only the 75 degrees but also our reference dot so we have a cross here here this is our target indoor conditions but we've also divided the psychrometric chart into four quadrants one two three and four in order to maintain these conditions of 75 degree dry bulb 55 degree dew point we're going to have to deliver supply air that can be plotted on this quadrant right here if we are delivering supply air anywhere outside of this quadrant and any of these other three quadrants, we will not be able to maintain either the temperature or the humidity or both. This is a very powerful tool. In order to have that tool though, you need to have already done a heat load calculation. We're gonna talk about how to calculate what exact CFM that you need to deliver per room using this method right here. But to learn that, you're gonna to have to tune in next time for Psychrometric Saturday.